Hey guys, I want to share with you my version of cheesy broccoli soup or broccoli cheddar soup, however you want to call it, cream of broccoli, anything you want to call it. So the first thing you're going to do is chop up a medium to large size onion. Um, basic, just whatever pieces, however big you like them in your soup. To that, I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of butter and roughly four tablespoons of garlic. Of course, you don't have to use that much if you don't like it. And then you're going to salt and pepper to taste. Be easy on the salt because you are going to be using chicken broth or veggie broth if you prefer. And that way you can kind of taste it a little bit later. So you're going to want to saute the onions until they are cooked through, you know, become a bit translucent. And to that, you're going to add three to five tablespoons of flour for this recipe here today. I used about three. To that, I added about a cup and a half of milk. I will leave everything down in the description box below. So no worries about keeping notes and just cooking the flour and the milk together. Add the milk slowly and stir constantly so it doesn't get all chunky on you. To that, I'm gonna add it to my crock pot. Now you could just continue to cook it on the stove. You could have done the flour mixture in a saucepan or in a like a stock pot and then did, did it that way. However, I have to leave the house and I still want it to cook and be ready by the time I get home. So I am cooking it in the crock pot so I can leave it in there for about four hours. So what you saw was me add four cups of broth. I'm gonna add two later, but four cups of broth and about a cup of chopped carrots. I'm also gonna add eight cups of chopped up broccoli. You can chop it as thin or as thick as you like. If you're gonna food process or the end of it or the, all of it at the end, it doesn't really matter how much you do. I like it a little bit on the chunky side. I like a little texture in the soup. So I'm gonna add a cup of cream to what I have in my crock pot. You do not have to do this. You can use milk, but I personally love the way that tastes. And I'm adding two more cups of broth. So a total of six broth, six cups of broth total giving it a mix i'm going to put on the lid and let it cook for roughly four -ish hours on low after it's cooked for a while you can see that it really changed the way it looked and now it's time to add the cheese because you know that's just the best part so i am putting in about two cups of monterey jack cheese i would use all cheddar however i only had a cup of it so you're going to add two to four cups of whatever cheese you have on hand that you want to use monterey jack cheddar colby jack those would all be really good choices now you can see here that my broth is pretty thin because i did go lighter on the flour and i didn't put a full two cups of milk in personal preference. You can do whatever you really want. Um, I We do like a little bit of texture in the broth with this specific soup, so I puree about half of it in the blender. You could also use a food processor, whatever you like, and then add that back to the soup. That way we get kind of a little bit of a thicker texture, more textured broth, but we also get the pieces of the carrot and the broccoli inside of the soup. So this is the way that we really like it. My entire family loves this soup. It is just a classic, one of our favorites for sure. Top it with a little bit of cheese and enjoy. It's amazing. It's, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. It's perfect for a fall day. Enjoy.